Hi my beautiful people, today I'm back to show you guys how to do this special occasion makeup tutorial. This is a very easy cut crease technique that I achieved and there it is. Take a good look at it because I'm just I'm about to show you how to do it. And here is a life look of what I did. Did. I put some falsies on and I used a very matte lipstick and I feel like the matte red lipstick made it look even more glamorous so if you have one use it and here I am looking all crazy with my rolls on and of course we're gonna start with priming our eyelids this is a very important step you should not miss because if you don't put primer on your eyes it most likely not gonna stay and right here I use my Urban Decay Primer Potion called Eden and for your first color, you want to use a brownish color that's two to three tone, darker tone, darker than your eyes. And make sure you blend that very well. Use a fluffy brush because this is going to prevent any harsh lines. And just make sure it's very, very, very blended. Right here, I took a minute, but I actually took like maybe like 10 minutes blending. Or maybe not 10 minutes, but something like that. And the first color that I used wasn't as dark as I wanted it, so I used a darker tone, and that worked perfect. And for the cut crease color, we're going to use a very dark brown. And make sure you get a little precise brush, and this is going to help you stay in the line. So you want to do is find the hollow part of your eyelids. My eyelids are really big, so it was all the way up there, but just kind of poke your eyeball and find that hollow spot and just focus on making, lining it up and just start little by little and just build it up. I hear this and actual real life speed. It I took a long time. Like I was going really slow. Like right here, you can see how slow I was going. And just this will help you get the color you want and make it nice and clean. And of course, I always like to bring the color over my lash line. As you can see, like it kind of drags down. And I do that so I can just clean it up after. So right here, I'm using this beige, very shimmery color. It's almost white. It's kind of white with shimmery and that's the color you want to use for your eyelids and again start blending some more because as you're putting adding different colors to your lids it sometimes starts fading so just keep blending and for my highlight color I used a shimmery color but my eyelid color is more white and this one's more beige and that's the color you want to look for just like a beigey shimmery color for your brow bone And of course, I you, I drag all the colors past my lids, just so I can, when I clean it up, it'll be even. And there it, there I am cleaning the edge. It's just very easy for me. That's why I like to do my eyeshadow before I do my foundation, my face makeup. And just bring the same color you used for your brow bone on your inner corner of your eyes, and this will brighten up your eyes even better. And right here, I'm putting the dark brown, bringing it down to my lash line. And bring it all the way to the inner corner. And of course, I can't go a look without using my eyeliner. And if you want to see a video of how I do my eyeliner very precise, just comment below and I'll show you guys. And falsies time! And for eyelashes, all you want to do is put the glue on, let it dry a little bit so it can get tacky. And what I like to put is put it in the center of my eye and then just go on the other corners. And also you want to put the mascara on your real lashes so they can blend together. And of course, don't forget your little ones under there or else it's going to look all weird. And since I had already foundation from earlier today, I was just being lazy and I put some powder foundation on my face. 
and just this is the part where you do all your face product if you want to contour blush whatever you like to do just do it now and this is my favorite red lipstick at the moment from lime crime these are the, from the velvet tan collection in color wicked i love this one because it goes on as a gloss but it dries fat and there is the completed look i hope you guys liked it and are, are able to achieve it I had so much fun doing this and I say special occasion because this is the look I actually used for New Year's Eve. And there I am again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Bye!